Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign, playing as that doggy dog nation. Hang dog. So, custom game rolls like normal. Everything's set to default. I have no idea what's going to happen. Um, loud. Civil War. Explosion event. What does that do? Huh. Oh, they get taken out by the NCR. Cool, whatever. Let's just go ahead and get started with historical AI focuses. Oh, so, the mods I'm using, Old World Blues. The mod compilation 2 for Old World Blues. Colored buttons, colored events, state transfer tool mod, and player-led peace conferences. So, this is the first nation I think that I'm playing in Old World Blues that has a generic focus tree, but our gods. Ever since our tribe first arose from the ashes of the great cleansing, we've been loyal to our gods to appease their wrath, the very wrath that brought the flames on our world. We must choose one god in particular to pay tribute to and worship. That would be very, very good. Get it. Leader. Lover. Oh, max entrenchment minus point two. I don't know how to feel about that, my friend. But he is lucky, so that's kind of okay. Get a canoe hole. Do that. Do this. This. Come to Pueblo City. We got some pipe guns. We're going to get some doggos. And we're going to get some support equipment. Focus on this. Focus on two. And then two. And that should be pretty darn good. Throw some more right there. We only have three research slots because we are a tribal nation. Which means we can't really do as much as I would like us to do. But that's okay. That's okay. Things happen. Cool. And let's go ahead and build ourselves up with, I guess, some civilian factories maybe. See what happens. We can let time go on first and just kind of watch. And get our focus done. Cool, so when the world fell and all was forgotten, we found our gods. In the forgotten places among the stars and the hills, we found our gods. Our gods are mighty, our gods are great. They watch us at all times, listen to us while we make our offerings. With them at our side, we are prosperous. So we could do river gods, which doesn't make any sense in overall blues. Why would we ever want to do that? We worship the mountain gods. Oh, we worship the sun gods. So, really, we're going to plan for the defense against the legion. And down here, we have plains. We've got desert. We've got... Plains, we've got urban, so overall it looks like there's no mountains and there's another desert tower right there. So go with the sun gods because the sun gods gives you, let's see, I'll show you guys this. Technology, go to your reward technologies, it gives us plus 10% and attack to attack and defense in the desert tiles, so that's going to be good for us. All legends, there was a time when our tribe faced much peril from the dangers of the wastes to the threat of other tribes. Luckily a legendary hero rose from our tribe as our savior. I wonder who it could be. I wonder who it could be. So the first thing we're probably going to grab... Oh, we do have Born Warriors, which is nice. We don't get a lot of manpower from that. But you do get a lot of other benefits. So, among all tribes, there are legendary figures. Those who stand above the common men and women. Those who are chosen by the spirits to lead and to rule and to grow strong and powerful. They brought us prosperity. And we should remember them to this day. Which is Fargo's time, the Shaman of Legend, Builder of Legend. Uh, usually I like doing this one. And even though this one's really good, I really like construction speed. So, the coming era. The elders of a tribe have called a great council and are communicating with the spirits of our ancestors to determine our next move. The answer of the spirits shall determine whether we live in an era of peace or war. And with this focus trees, this will be the last one before we can choose where we want to go. I'm probably going to go to the growing village next just because I like more factories. That'd be good. So the spirits whisper to us, voices lost on the wind. They instruct, teach, and guide us. And we listen and we follow them resolutely into a new era. The greatest era. So we do have era of war, more daily army XP gain, less division training time. And air yeah, prosperity, so we get more monthly population, and we do get some manpower, or an air of migration, which I'm probably going to do since we're going to need some non-core manpower. And we get a civilian factory, too. The growing village. As our population population expands, so it is a village. And the great influx of people has created a greater source of weaponry and food for our people, which is a good thing. So, I want to go down this side because we get more attack and defense on core territory, so we're always ready for the Legion. Uh, gets the land, more resource efficiency gain, uh, better research speed, tribal war, there goes Olympus tribe, we get more breakthrough, plus 15% for infantry, nothing to scoff at, that's pretty darn good. Then we have strength in numbers for less combat width, so we can throw maybe another battalion or two into our division. Uh, hardened by the wasteland, so we get 2% more recruitable population in the war drum beats, which is not bad, but really, I want a beeline for this one to get more population, because we don't have that much right now. We d really don't have very much. And this side... Gives attack defense on court territory, which is awesome. Get population. You get less combat with, so you can throw more guys in, the, in a single division. That's really great. Tribal defense uh, has plus two max entrenchment, which is, I think, pretty darn good. Which we'll need for the Legion. Less infantry equipment production cost. A more division organization. Better army speeds. More population. More soft attack and hard attack. More population, which is incredibly necessary. Trust me, this is the... Second time I'm recording this episode, and also I might want to go to war with these guys, but first on, first of all, too. Um, just because uh, it's not easy. 
as actually playing as hang dogs, you are limited in time because you never know when the Legion might declare war on you, especially since we've chosen uh, historical focuses are off. That is why, because it's actually completely random when Legion will probably go to war with you. But let's do Sacred Land. The land on which our tribe has settled is sacred. Blessed by the gods, outsiders, and heathens must not be allowed to tarnish our sacred land, so we must defend it. Uh, defend it all we have. So then we could go down Revered Elders. Actually, that's really good. Daily political power gain. Oh, you know what? I have to do that one next. I love political power way too much not get plus 0.5 a day. I mean, 1.2 is great. Don't get me wrong. But that's a lot right there. And we're probably actually next up, even though I do want to get to a faster uh, or well-equipped army, because Wasteland Economy sucks. Well-equipped army is the, like, the main one you should always get for, if not further below that one. But I really want asymmetrical warfare research and daily army XP gains as well. Even though Chief of Army, you get more max entrenchment, which is really not bad either too. Especially if the Legion goes to war with us, because we have to be ready quickly. I don't exactly remember. Ooh, I want this one too. Stone Whisper Wu Yi. So you get 10% stability. Not 5%, but 10% stability. And a little bit more daily political power too. Which would be nice, but oh, good lord. Once you get enough political power, it won't be too difficult if you can get more manpower, so. And the reason why I'm justifying on the Wither Dogs. Oh, before I forget, we gotta do this as well. We gotta hurt our population a little bit. I almost forgot that. Almost forgot it, but we're gonna need some extra divisions. We are absolutely gonna need some extra divisions, because if we don't get extra divisions, we're gonna die. Because this is not going to be easy. Like I said, do that. Let's go ahead and do asymmetrical warfare. Even though it says asymmetrical warfare in the other... What the heck? Two destroyers. Oh, uh, no. That's 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 two too many. Well, maybe one too many. Uh, well, based on... Yeah, we can keep both. Why not? Actually, no. Get rid of one. That much manpower is not really worth it. But I don't care. Because we need everybody here. Cool. we got plenty of this. Cool. Secret land. Go ahead and grab... We have secret land, which is good. Oh, stability. Stability is so good to get. Let's get revered elders. So the great elders of our tribe are wise and knowledgeable, and guide our people towards a great destiny. Just more stability, more political power so good. We already get 1.38, but that's still not enough. I am very greedy when it comes to stability and asymmetrical warfare. So that should apply to asymmetric warfare. They're pretty close, but not quite together. Research speed dances. Da. Not bad. Oh, that's really good. Sacred lands is going to be incredibly important. We still have ruler. So, we do need to do Tribal Reformation, so I don't want to do that one yet. Just because it might force us to go down one of these paths immediately. So, I don't want to do that yet because of a certain thing called asking for your opinion. So, within this campaign, I'd like to ask your opinion a couple, about a couple things and decisions or choices we might make. First of all, what do you think is better? War Chief, Daily Weekly Support, Political Power, Army XP, and Faster Justify World Goals Times. That's pretty much what you get for War Chief. Well, should we go communist with intellectual support? More population, which does look pretty good in my mind. And more max organization for infantry, which is going to be the bread and butter ooh, uh, for our army. Or we should go with the elder for more daily people support. More stability, secret language, as well as more multi-population, stability, and war support. And this one does say the migration of the tribes. And we did do sort of that sort of idea earlier. So uh, let's come over here and get some division training time. Or the last one, so the High Chief. More ruler support, we're already rulers. We get Ideology Drift Defense and Daily Ruler Support, and then better Land Doctrine Research Times, as well as more Daily Ruler Support, basically, because Ideology Drift Defense doesn't really matter. Probably not the High Chief, it doesn't seem that interesting. Sure, you get some political power, but you get political power with all these. Which one do you think would be best? Uh, I'll guess we're on the Forger's interesting, very interesting. Usually early on, the Iron Alliance and Wither Dogs usually try to kill each other off, so I'm really hoping that happens in this campaign. We're about halfway there for that. Good. Don't want to forget this again. Oh, we have four factories. It might just be better. We could wait a little bit longer. We don't really need army XP right now. Sure, it'd be nice to grab just a little bit or be able to put in another battalion, but it really won't matter. This stuff, building tech research time, can really just kind of wait as well. Um, anything here? I mean, this stuff looks not bad. This looks pretty good as well, Windwalker. Civilian construction speed isn't bad. Arms lobbyist. Eh, that stuff is okay. Shaman. Not bad. Peaceful origins. Not bad as well. Friends in high places. Uh, midwife. Uh, I don't want to do this because I really don't want to lower defense. Boulder War Chief would be really good for even more entrenchment and division defense on court territory because we are going to need that. Trust me. We will. Let's just go and do that one. That's fine. Uh, revealed Eldos. 1.38 becomes what? 
Well, not quite 2.97 because we just finished focus. But let's go down this way. Gifts of the land. In return for our protection of the sacred land of the gods, we are granted bountiful gifts from the land. Even though we don't need more resources right now, these will come in handy much later on. Much later on. And also, eventually, we can restore the city of Colorado, which sounds actually like a lot of fun. I hope we can do that. And we sacrifice this with the god modifier, less monthly population by half. And eventually, we will be known as the Mountain Watchers, which is very cool. Get a new guy. Uh, Cunning McMurphy. Supply consumption. Oh, even more defense? Yes, stack on that defense. I'm really focused on defense. Go Inspirational first, though, because Inspirational is really good. Did you have something else, Lover? Ah, uh, you, me, and Lover. Which is kind of weird. Recon bonus when, when entrenched. Because we have dogs. Dogs give you at least 0.5 recon. 100% of half a point is... Or would round up to, probably, a full point. And there goes a troll warrant early on. Holy cow. Gunslinger. Ooh, deficient defense, though. Oh, recon. Even more recon. And line night attack. This is not going to take this campaign. Oh, there's... Actually, I'm not really sure. I The deficient defense is so important. 100% more recon is okay. Deficient attack plus 1% and defense. That's okay. I'm, I have to go with Gunslinger. Just because the Legion is oppressive. It's incredibly oppressive. Assimilated Centurions. They're still fighting the Twisted Hairs. I hope they go to war with the Twin Mothers, Two Sons, and the Cochise County Cowboys. Cochise? Something like that, whatever you pronounce it as. Just because... Oh, God, we need more manpower. Uh, and I really don't want to hurt this as well. That's so important to keep. Apparently we get almost two a day. Now that is nice. That is really good political power. And since we're going to use it all campaign, it was pretty much worth doing. Uh, I really don't want to hurt this. I really, really don't. But we're going to grab this next. Get our land doctrine done even faster. And we're about to get paid. Eh, we don't have any slaves. Huh. A little disappointed. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh oh. What are you choosing next, Legion? Oh, well, we have to know. Because they could easily just go to war with us probably next. And I really, really don't want that. Really don't. Assimilate Centurions. I hope they keep going down south. Ooh, guess of the land. Oh, that's nice. Next up, I'm, I'm trying to get down to here. More population, 2%. So, words of the spirits. The spirits speak to our elders and reveal great secrets to them. Some say it's just radiation poisoning from the nuclear waste nearby, though. More research speed is always a great thing to have. Always, 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 always. I do want to go to war with these guys. Cruel Heartland. Oh, Undying ca Outcasts. Okay. We have about a month left before we can go to war with those guys. I'm just hoping that these guys end up in a war with someone else as well, like New Sterling. That would be really good for us. You only get 14 people a month, not much. Oh. Oh, no, 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 we, oh god. This is not good. Of all people that we're going to get attacked from, it's going to be the Legion X. Are you serious, man? Are you serious? That's it. We got to raise the conscription level up. Oh, good god, no. Oh, uh, I really wanted to do this one. Mm. You know what? I'm going to cancel this. No. I don't like canceling things, but we're going to go to tribal defense first. Because we need that max entrenchment. So, above all, our tribe must be defended from the nations surrounding us. The dangers of the wasteland have prepared for us for, the, prepared us for this, and our warriors know a doctrine of defense. That is so unlucky. We had a literal 25% chance of being chosen here, and we were the first ones up. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, is it not good? Not good. Not good. A world to play one of the apostles. It's only 3% more recruitable population. Tribal defense. That max entrenchment's gonna, gonna have to help us. Um, we might have to choose a slave conscript eventually, but not right now. <sighs> I need that. I gotta save it. I gotta save the political power up. And we have to do this one as well. It's only 100. I have almost no manpower. We're gonna need manpower out the wazoo. I'm gonna need some of this too. Some healing powder. Oh, good god. <sighs> Go and grab my research speed first. Hey, this is gonna get asymmetric warfare done. Which helps a, not a lot early on, but that's okay. And now we can go to war. Of course, now we can. It's magic warfare, and we'll do some foraging for less out of supply and supply grade stuff. That's fine. Uh, you know what, since we're here, go ahead and build this up. Get level 3. That's going to be important. That's going to be important. Do there too. 
Cool. Shove everything down to the ground. I should have done this first. I really should have. But hey, we're building really fast. So within like almost a week now, we should have at least one outpost here. That's going to be so important. We have only two more divisions. We should get tribal defense before the Legion does anything else. Are they kind of injured? Please. I know it's early game, but oh my goodness. They even have demo companies. Oh, go and do that. Raise it up. Raise it up. Raise it up. Tribal defense. We need that entrenchment. We need our soldiers to dig, 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 dig. Oh, we got it. All right. Cool. Uh, soft attack production. Organization seems pretty uni useful right now. What does this one do? The group of population. This one is army speed. That's okay. Ooh, do we go for 2%? This one gives us, does give us more organization, which is important, but we'll probably go with 2%. So, traditional weapons. All throughout the wasteland, traditional weapons are scattered about. Our warrior bands often scavenge us parts of these weapons, and we may be able to reforge them with some effort. Alright, dig. Dig in, boys and girls. Actually, you should already be dug in. Oh, good god, they already went to war with us. Alright, we're holding somewhat. 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 Come on, hold, 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 hold. You guys can hold. You got entrenchment. You got defense on court territory. Legion operative captured. We don't even have a spy agency. 15, 11. That's not good. I will do desperate defense. Oh, hold on. Or last stand. 11, 16. Oh, come on. You guys got to hold. <gasps> we got two more divisions. We have two more divisions already. Go, 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 go. Come on. We can hold. We can hold. Don't lose your organization. For the love of God, don't lose it. Oh, come on. Don't, don't break it. Oh, God. I don't want to do last stand. That is... That is very bad for us to do. Free state remnants. Oh god, we're out of manpower already. Oh no, no, no. No, 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 no. Max instrument plus 0.5. Come on, you got, you've got a hold. There is no excuse here. I will send you over this way because you are actually getting hit pretty hard that way. Move, 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 move. Oh god, oh god. Sending one division to defend here is really bad. Oh god, we're holding. We're kind of holding. Maybe? Come on. You've got to hold. Crow's Land. I didn't expect this one to be too bad. I'm actually surprised we're actually holding here pretty well so far. Oh, come on. You've got to come back. Oh god, don't. Don't lose it. It's, they're only more than double your size. That's all they are. Just more than double. That's all. I'm really surprised that we can hold out here. Of all places, Crow's Land is actually desert. We have a bonus to that. Of all places. Alright, so we can grab... Oh good, thank god. More more defense on core territory and more max entrenchment. Yes, 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 yes. We should be able to hold as long as we get enough manpower. And hopefully we have enough guns. Or infantry equipment. Oh, God. Are we actually holding? I didn't think this would actually happen. Cool. Ooh, local workspaces. We need more output and recruitable population factor immediately. 1.7 a day. Oh, my goodness. How many? Okay, so losses. That's not bad. We've already killed 1,400 Legion members. Oh, God. You've got to hold your butts out. Come on. you got butts. You can hold them. Oh, traditional weapons. Not bad, not bad. I uh, already have pretty much everything that we can get for defense for now, I think. Clan fighting styles, more soft attack would be nice. Our tribe has a distinct fighting style adopted due to a common lack of weaponry and the dogmatic training of our warrior peoples. This makes us much better fighters all around. Oh, God, come on. Um, is there anything I could... There's really nothing else I could do. Uh, please hold, hold, hold. If we can't... If anything, we can lose that little tile there. All that means, Pueblo City. Uh, Pueblo City, you should be constructing stuff right now. Oh, you're building... Oh, that one. That's, that's good. Actually, if we lose this, Pueblo City isn't bad to hold onto as well. I'm going to actually take one guy out. You can go ahead and retreat. Just because I want them to get more organization there first. And it's an urban area. Which means that they only have 70% attack there. So even losing this tile isn't terrible. But we will have to wait and see. You guys can hold. You guys can hold. You got this. I really hate doing a last stand. Because it just kills. It literally just kills your divisions. But if we don't have to back up to Pueblo City, man. That's good. We've already killed 2,000 of them. We've lost about 400 ourselves. So it's not, not bad. I am worried about this, though. I am very worried about this. We can't, lo we can't afford to lose this tile. These guys are already veterans, which is nice. I'm going to go ahead and say, you come here. Pop yourself out, because I need a division right here, right now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. you got to hold your butts. Hold your butts. Okay, oh, I thought they broke over. They didn't yet. They have not yet, which is good. Oh god, they're going to break over through there. I know we have not killed enough Legion members yet, though. Oh my god, 26,000. Holy crap. 
That's so many. That's way too many. Uh, do we have any upgrades? That's good to remember. Any upgrades? Probably division defense. Yeah. Oh, no. Attack and defense on core territory. 5% division attack and defense. Uh, you only get half effects if you're a field marshal, I think, that get applied to your generals or the infantry. So, as much as I love that one. Fight the power. If we're going to only get 5% anyways, you might as well do that one. So, no, you... What the hell are you doing? Go, hold, son. Hold. No, you're right there. You're not allowed to leave. Come on, guys. you got to hold out some more. We're becoming a desert fox and a hill spider, so... That's not bad. Please don't die, though. Please, for the love of God, please do not... Oh, my God. They're attacking with so many guys. With their dogs. Oh, good. We got... Okay, so what can we do now? Can we get any more people on defense? Population. We can lower, lower our defense, which is absolutely unacceptable right now. Scoundrel. Military factories. Shaman. War support. Experienced soldiers' losses, which wouldn't be bad. It, there doesn't look like there's anything that we can do for more defense. Experienced soldiers' losses, which wouldn't be bad. War support actually might be the thing to do. Because you do get more defense and attack on core territory, so I almost would never choose Little Lindsay here. Which sounds kind of questionable, but I am actually going to do it because we get more division defense on core territory. So this is all core territory, so we get even... Oh no, don't you dare. No, 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 no. Get back, get back in there, get back in there, son. Recycle your soldiers if you have to. Come on, hold, hold, hold. I'm going to pull you out first so you can come back. Come on, don't let them break through. Don't let them... Good. This is the strategy we've got to do, recycling soldiers all the time. Even down here. Alright, we're gonna need some more soldiers now. Alright, we'll pop you out. There we go. No, you have to hold. You have to hold. Clan fighting style, nice. Actually, what does that do? Clan fighting style. Let's look at that. So, champions of the tribe. The greatest of our warriors are champions. Glorified members of the tribe who will become revered elders or respected old chiefs in the future. The dream of glory and honor is so prevalent that many in our tribe will, will join to become like these champions. Come on. And also, we are joined here with my cat, Binky. Who is enjoying our time together? God, we've killed 3,000. Eh, I wish we killed more, but you know, whatever. A little panicked I am? Maybe a little bit, because look at all these veterans. That's awesome. Come on. You don't. You cannot break. Please don't break. For the love of God, do not break. You guys came back. You're holding out. You're not allowed to break either. I gave you an extra division. You are not allowed to break. Keep mobilizing, keep mobilizing. I'm going to go and deploy another guy. Alright, we're going to move you up here because I need to move you... Oh, did they break anything? Oh, boy. You got to move in there. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, God, no. Because it, it really doesn't matter too much. They're still green, but they're going to quickly become veterans. Forging, nice. And we'll do improved obstructions, which is what we can really use for max entrenchment right now. But a lot of guys, please get that research faster. Oh, we're running out of manpower, too. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. You have to come. You know, I'm pulling one of you guys out. You're pulling. I'm pulling you out. Yeah, you have to go this way. You have to go. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Woo! We got the guy back in there. We got the guy back in there, guys. Yeah. Oh, we're actually even building up more outposts here. That's so good. That's so good. Oh, they stopped attacking us sometimes. Oh, we actually might be... We might have this. We might have this. We can actually defend against the Legion. Granted that we have enough manpower. Because we lose about... One guy for every five of theirs. Oh, God. we have, Okay, this is, this is not bad now. This is not bad. Not bad. Uh, get some better decryption, I guess, for now. It's fine. Even though we could probably... Actually, you know what? Don't get decryption yet. Don't, don't do that. Uh, actually, you know what? We already, I already thought we didn't do resistors yet. That's good. Ooh, this is... Hmm. This is a... Hmm. Experienced soldiers' losses might be next, just because I don't want to lose any more guys. <laughs> I really don't. We can't really afford it. And we're going to get 2% more population now, which is awesome. Uh, outpost construction speed 10%. That might be worth it. That might not be. Boulder Dome. That's okay. Down here. Freeman's fixers. This stuff is always good to do. Always good. Stability, combat robots. Less soft attack. Uh, that's really not ever good to do. Experience soldiers' losses. We could do this for more organization, but 
two percent's really not worth it. Crusher. I'm probably just gonna go with this guy because I want to take less losses. I think that's a good goal, right? Less losses. If they get down to six, I'm gonna go ahead and do last stand again. Oh god, we have to do it right now. Well, that's that's definitely lower than six right there. Whew. Because right here, I am uh, watching this as well, which is not good. We're holding here in Pueblo City, which is awesome. Oh, he's got an upgrade. Cut. Oh, yes. Even more defense on attack on core territory. We will do that soon. Very, very soon. Once we get enough of this. Come on, hold out, guys. You're, you're strong. You're doing this for your tribe. We're out of infantry. God dang it. Right, we got to keep an eye on manpower as well. Good. Oh, good. We got more output too. Uh, Ninja isn't bad either for more, more recon. More reconnaissance. But we gotta do this one. 10% more defense on desert tiles is just too good to pass up. Just too good. Output, construction speed, get some more monthly population first. Good god, they're level 3. These level 6 already? Holy crap. Oh, we got more manpower already. This is good. Good. Less division training time. Two more arms workshops. That's not bad. Board equipment, organization loss. Oh, we gotta go for that max retrenchment. So the war bands muster. Soon, it may be necessary for our tribe to go to war, whether to defend our sacred land or to expand our tribe. We must muster our war bands, train and equip every member of the tribe we can. Oh my goodness. We're still holding out. We are kind of. Oh, no. Oh, which one's the weakest one? Oh, these two are looking pretty bad. Just retreat and come back. Retreat and come back. You got just that much more organization. It's not much at all. That's okay, though. Okay, so since we're here, um, Ninja, I really like that, but we're not attacking yet. We will need to, though, eventually. Land, not attack. It's only 1%, but when entrenched, and these guys are entrenched. So I like Sniper a lot, so we'll choose that one next, probably, unless you guys have something. No? Alright, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. You're getting, oh, uh, yep, that's, that's nice. He's becoming health fighter as well. You, you're not allowed to lose, son. I'm sorry. Good. Decode signals. Nice. Very good. Oh, man. We got even more population, too. Oh, God. Please don't lose. Please don't lose. Please don't lose. Please, 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 please. Oh, this is, we're definitely doing better than before. We're in a much better position than before. Holy cow. And we're definitely giving the Legion a run for his money. Especially Kaiser. 6,000 versus 1,000. Not bad. Oh, son. You son of a gun. You better get back in there. Woo! All right, we got enough. Let's go ahead and do sniper. Even more recon. Oh, hold on. Oh, we don't have enough command power for the next one. So you guys should be getting like quite a bit of recon from being entrenched. If you guys are entrenched, because some of these guys are. Oh my God, that is so low. Oh boy, get get your boots back in there. Get back in there. Come on, trade out, recycle, recycle, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Because I'm going to go ahead and plop two more out. Good one. And you're actually going to come right here. Two. Go, 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 go. Because that's more than enough organization to hold and defend for a little bit. <laughs> I can't believe we're actually doing this. I really can't believe it. This is the second. My, this is literally my second attempt. Yes, I'm going to go for more war support. As much as I love political power. 100% war support. Let's go. 10% total division defense on core territory. There's no way. Hopefully they, could, that they, can, they might be able to break us. Oh, boy. Um, good. Get, you better get your butt back in there, son. Oh god, we're so low. This side should be good for the rest of the war. They should be. There's more than enough guys over there. I just didn't re read what just happened over there, but whatever. Do we need more guns? Yes, we do, which is not a good thing. But we can buy guns. So I remember to do that, even though it takes two months. That's not good. Art of haggling. Oh no. So we can't really deploy anyone else early on. He's level four defense. Come on, guys. You gotta hold out. You gotta hold out. You can leave, but you gotta come right back. You can leave too, but you gotta come right back, son. You can take a little breather. That's all. Just a little bit of a breather. Come back with a ton of organization, I know. Encoded signals. Nomad warriors. Yes, please. Our tribe comes from a nomad background, often moving when we are unsettled. This is reflected by the attitude of our warriors, who are more easily able to traverse the waste or landscape without becoming disorganized. And then we'll do skirmish line, which will be great. I keep looking back here, seeing if there's anything I can do. There's really nothing we can do here, I think. We can get more stability. Actually, that'd be really good. We should actually get a lot more stability. Weapons production? 
We lo mm -hmm. uh, we could, that might not be bad. Stability though, really stability's probably king. Hmm. You know what? I think this video's gone long enough. We'll figure out what we're gonna do next. So let me know the guys. Let me go. No guys in the comments below. War chief, shaman, elder, high chief. Which one should we take? Regardless, I hope you enjoyed today's episode because it was kind of, it's getting still kind of scary. If you did, though, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we are going to do our best to hold out against the horde called the Legion. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.